There is much to be learned about the North Pacific and how it works, from the large-scale ocean circulation to the abundance and distribution of marine life. The ocean is very wide and complex, and it is difficult to understand the changes of the ocean. The ocean is very wide and complex, and it is difficult to understand the changes of the ocean. The ocean is very wide and complex, and it is difficult to understand the changes of the ocean. The ocean is very wide and complex, and it is difficult to understand the changes of the ocean. These efforts have made us better understand the nature of the sea and the changes of the sea, and also understand how these changes are affecting the people of the sea. The science of the sea. Despite these improvements, there still is a lot to learn, which is why we still need to mobilize the best minds in Canada, China, Japan, Korea, Russia, and the United States. So if you think of marine ecosystems as sort of your objective, each country could only look at a little bit of that ecosystem. And of course, the processes and dynamics that are driving those are much broader than any one nation could address individually. That's why as an intergovernmental organization, we can really bring a wide array of understanding and knowledge to bear on a complex issue. One country cannot fully understand what's going on in the sea, so we need some kind of international cooperation and PISIS is for that. It's been wonderful to be able to work cooperatively across the Pacific, share lots of information about the environmental changes and the biological changes that happen on both sides, to be able to talk together and collaborate because really we all are connected. The North Pacific is much too big for individual efforts. If individual scientists work at their own projects in isolation, you don't have the dynamics of an organization that brings people together, creates a multidisciplinary forum, which gets oceanographers talking to fisheries people and chemists and things like that. So having something that creates papers, symposia, opportunities for people to meet, that all comes from having an organization like Pisces. Pisces is kind of a unique community in that under one umbrella it just collects so many different people working with the ocean sciences. I'm a physical oceanographer. Fisheries oceanography. I'm a biological oceanographer. And I'm a physical oceanographer. I am a fishery biologist. Originally a physical oceanographer. Marine ecology. Fisheries oceanography. My background is a biological oceanography. Ocean monitoring of plankton populations. Fisheries oceanography and stock assessment. This is one of the major achievements of Pisces. And I think through the collaborations of not only nations, but different research areas, research specialists. Pisces manages to achieve very informative goals, in particular those associated with the ecosystem change. How does that affect human societies? How is that affected by climate change? Pisces is from its origins when Warren Wooster had the idea of creating it. He wanted to have it be integrative and multidisciplinary. That integrative science accelerates the exchange of our understanding. The most important accomplishment was that it brought a community together in the 1990s when science was just beginning to recognize that climate and oceans were having major impacts, in my case, on fish. And Pisces provided that opportunity for people who knew that to get together and to put together the evidence that was convincing. It was established at the time that we didn't understand large-scale changes in the ocean uh, and these regime shifts as we call them now. We worked on developing these models 
uh, where we did couple the lower trophics and the higher trophic levels. These models have been quite successful, not just advancing the Pisces science, but these models have also become part of the larger global community discussion. Some of the major achievements in Pisces science have been ecosystem models. A really important one, NEMRO, comes to mind. That also highlights the collaborative nature of Pisces and the fact that it wouldn't have been possible without a whole bunch of researchers focusing on it. One of the major outcomes was what we call the Four Cs program, the Climate Change and Carrying Capacity program, which was looking at how the ocean supports the production of fish populations. Another main outcome of Pisces was the understanding of what we now call regime shifts, that the environment actually has years of consistent changes and then a sudden shift to a bunch of years with very different conditions. And that's really important for understanding how marine ecosystems are responding to the changing environment, the changing climate. Pisces has an opportunity to really address coastal issues in a more unified framework that I like to refer as a social, ecological, environmental system. I learned through Pisces the important role of the human dimension, and that's something that I am interested in pursuing in the future years. I'm interested in the relationships among the cultural diversity and ecosystem diversity or biodiversity. So when you do that kind of research in, under the Pisces framework, you can do the comparative analysis among the cultures and among the marine ecosystem types. Very good opportunity for, especially for young researchers, to get the experiences as in the international research activities. And I was educated in Pisces, and I'm very proud of that. Over the years, I've just seen Pisces grow from this fledgling group of a bunch of people trying to get together and figure out, geez, who are you and, and what are we doing here? And to see now some of the younger people from some of the other countries that weren't as involved in the early times now being very integrally involved. It just shows the founding fathers, if you will, had the right idea. In the past 25 years, Pisces carried a very, very good job in science, and I really want to introduce young scientists to Pisces for the next 25 years. It's an enduring place. It's a family, really, where I can go and share what I'm learning about the ocean with other scientists. We'll continue expanding the dimensions of the science that we do, from the climate, the marine ecosystem, the human dimension, and who knows what else. <laughs> so we got 25 years under our belt, now we got to keep that going for another 25 years. Pisces가 아니었으면은 북태평양의 다른 해역에서 일어나는 일들을 이해할 수가 없었을 것입니다. Pisces allows me to stretch my boundaries and to understand how the part of the North Pacific that I study compares with other regions. Pisces와 北太平洋を囲む 科学的な協力を提供してくれる機関です。北太平洋是一片複雜的海域。Pisces是一个很好的例子，它是一个很好的例子。Pisces是一个很好的例子，它是一个很好的例子。Pisces是一个很好的例子，它是一个很好的例子